Anatol Kajrovin, Gigi, and Quiet Nights. And now we're going to do the first bossa nova song that really became famous, famous all over the world. Vamos fazer agora o primeiro sucesso da bossa nova. Não era Garota de Ipanema, foi essa música aqui que foi feita, composta por Antônio Kajrovin e Newton Mendonça, e ficou famosa no mundo todo. Antônio Cajubinho wrote that song with another young piano player in that time, in the early 60s. They wrote a couple of songs together, like one note samba. But they wrote that particular song here. It was considered in that time like a little trick song, a little difficult, so nobody kind of liked the song. But finally, Stan Getz, your friend, and he loved coming along with the song, the great saxophone <laughs> player from New York. And they recorded an album. That sold yeah. one million copies in the first week that was released in 1962. And the song, the song goes like that. It goes a little fast. Quando eu vou cantar você não deixa E logo vem aquela deixa
got to sing pretty soon. Yeah. Os pássaros, birds. Antonio Cajobin, the great bossa nova master. Everything about his songs is inspired by, inspired by the birds, you know. He used to love the birds and listen to the birds every, every day and morning. And he wrote a beautiful song about the Sabiá. We have here in Rio, in all over Brazil, Sabiá. Sabiá Laranjeira, Sabiá da Praia, Sabiá da Mata, Sabiá Estrela, Sabiá Cinza, Sabiá da Areia. What kind of Sabiá you know that? The Sabiá sings like that. Não, só tinha tinha. Não sabia, não. Sabe, há cinco like that. In Rio, Rio de Janeiro, ok? São Paulo, cinco é um pouco diferente. Tem um pouco de bop feeling. É, só é. Sério? São Paulo. Mike, Mike knows that. E o Sabiá, né? Sabiá. Tem o Tico Tico aqui também, Tico Tico, Tico Tico, o Tico Tico lá, o Tico Tico cá, o Tico Tico tá com o meu fumar. A very famous chorinho, was in a Walt Disney movie, Tico Tico singing like that. Trica Ferro. All kinds of words. But I'm talking about that because I'm going to do a song now by Antônio Cajobim that was inspired in a bird called Machita Pere. That bird sings like that. After a couple of minutes, what? No. No, yeah, you're in the wrong key. Yeah. <laughs> there is a big bird. He's on the wrong bridge. Shut up. Machita Pere. <laughs> no, Machita Pere sings like that. Oh. Anyway, Antonio Cajobi used to have a ranch two hours, three hours from Rio, by the river. The Rio D&D, &D, you know, River D&D. &D. And he used to hang out every Sunday in his ranch by the balcony and beside the river. You know that? And he used to drink a little wine in the afternoon on Sunday, you know? I didn't wine, no problem. And listen to the bird. So, once the bird and a little wine. A little wine. O passarinho. Passarinho e vinho. So after a couple of wines and a, a, a couple of birds singing, the guys start to cut it, cut the wood on the other side of the river. The guy starts, you know, on the other side of the river cutting wood for his fire place with his... Ah, that's the that's that's the kind of wood. Uh, wood. <laughs> so and then the bird kept singing. And to be a little while Sunday, Sunday afternoon, no relax, just whatever.